Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making a goose for Easter. So I have a goose-shaped sugar cookie here, and I'm going to be outlining it with a ivory color. So this is an ivory color with a piping consistency, and it's inside a piping bag fitted with a number two tip. And I'm just going along the entire outside and just disregarding the feet and the beak for now. Next we want to flood in this area, so I've got the same color here, this time in a flooding consistency that I have in a squeeze bottle. And my squeeze bottle just so happens to have a coupler and icing tip attachment. It's a Sweet Sugar Bell squeeze bottle, um, but any sort of uh, squeeze bottle will work. And if you do use a coupler attachment on yours, I always use a number four tip. And I'm just using my scribe tool to get all the icing towards the edges and pop any unwanted air bubbles. And while the ivory is still wet, I want to add some polka dots. So I've got a flooding consistency white royal icing here in a squeeze bottle. And again, any squeeze bottle will work. I happen to have a Sweet Sugar Bell squeeze bottle here that has a coupler attachment. So I use a number four tip as always. And this is what is known as a wet on wet technique. And you can see as I pipe these white polka dots, you can see that they just kind of sink into the ivory background. And that's exactly what you want. And once the white and the ivory have dried, um, it will leave a completely level surface for you to add any detail onto later. And I've let this crust over for at least 20 minutes and I want to add the wing and instead of just drawing it on later I want to make it a little bit more three-dimensional so I'm actually creating another flooding layer here. So I just drew the wing on with the same color as I used to outline the goose in the first place. That's an ivory piping consistency with a number two tip. So I drew the wing and I'm filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color that I have here in a squeeze bottle. And again, I'll just use my scribe tool to get rid of any air bubbles and get all of the icing towards the edges. And next, to do the beak and the feet of the goose, I've got a piping consistency yellow royal icing here fitted with a number two tip. And I'm just building up the icing towards the face of the goose and then pulling out towards a point to create the beak. And I'm also just carefully drawing in the feet here as well. They're just very simple, uh, a line straight down and then three lines coming out from the side. And I want these flooding layers to completely dry. I always let mine sit overnight, uh, but six to eight hours should definitely do it. And I want to give these guys a bit of a vintage splatter, so I've mixed together some chocolate brown gel dye with a touch of vodka, and I'm just using a fan brush and my finger to kind of flick it all over the cookies. I like to use a fan brush for this step because it's got some extra spring to it. It gives you an extra fine kind of splatter. And the whole splattering process is uh, completely optional, but I really like to do it. And I've mixed together some uh, gold luster dust uh, with a touch of vodka again. And I'm just using a regular small brush here uh, to paint over the beak and then carefully just uh, going over the feet as well. And again, this part's totally optional. Um, I just like to do it for a little extra shine and sparkle but you can definitely leave it yellow if you want to. And to add a little bit of a whimsical look to the wings, I've got a number one tip this time with the same color that I used to outline the goose, that nice ivory color. And I just did a nice little curl um, following the outside of the wing. And to give it a bow, I've got a light pink royal icing here. This is a piping consistency fitted with a number one tip. And I just went straight across the neck and uh, added two loops in the top and two lines coming out the bottom. And for the middle of it, I'm just using a pair of tweezers to put on a little sugar pearl.
And for the eye, I'm just using a black food pen. This is a Chef Master food decorating pen. So I'm just doing a circle with a little swoop out the back. And there we go, we've got the finished goose here, perfect for Easter. Um, it would also be very nice as part of a, a baby shower set. And you can see it here with some other Easter designs that I've done in the past. You can find videos for those uh, in my video library. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!